that looks nice. In infrared, this looks stunning. Loving, loving, loving this. Well, good evening from a hot, sticky, blue sky day in Waipukarao, New Zealand. A small rural town in the Hawke's Bay region, in the central Hawke's Bay region. It's pretty gorgeous actually. This is where my grandkids live, so I've had the grandkids for the day. Now, the good thing about taking the kids on a walk is that I can drag along <laughs> the newly infrared converted Fujifilm X-Pro2. And on a day like this, it's perfect, just for popping off shots as I see them. Good girl, Amber. Good the girl. Hi. Hi. Drop the kids off at their mums and now I thought right make a few extra photographs in the last couple of hours of light the old hospital site majority of it's demolished it's gone there's still a couple of buildings standing and they really do make some beautiful photographs all right so let's crack on make a few shots
that looks nice. In infrared, this looks stunning. Loving, loving, loving this. To be honest, mate, there's some seriously good artwork here. I mean, look at it. We've got some absolutely fantastic artists living in the area. This makes a lovely shot. That pile of discarded timber there, and the old hospital in the background. When I say a top deck, there's not much of a top deck left to be honest. Oh. Some pretty cool tags in here. Huh, I'm not. I might as well be well with them. I do like that light and shadow coming in through the windows. Yeah, I really do like that. Looks freaking awesome. Made quite a nice photograph of that one. That's probably my favourite photograph of the session, actually. See if we can do anything with that. That was pretty cool as well. A little bit of faint white cloud up there. I love the way it looks in infrared. The sky goes black, the white clouds come out white, as they should. Oh, happy days, happy days. Well, I think that'll do for now. 
generally this place is all fenced off and you can't get in. Today the fences are down. I don't feel like I'm trespassing. Just taking a few nice photographs for historical purposes. Right, I thought I'd just end this video by showing you how easy these infrared files are to edit. Let's just turn the brightness up so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to edit my three favourite photographs from the shoot. And I've got to start out with this one of Young Amber. Because I shoot these on RAW, when they're imported into Lightroom, they're coming with this slight purplish tinge. And to be honest with you, they look pretty cool like that. But what I generally do, and this is just what I do, it's just quick and easy. I do a really quick black and white global adjustment. And then I'll come down to the Auto tab to give it an auto settings and see how things are lying there. Looks pretty good. The highlights are quite uh, quite bright there, so I'll just take down the highlights a little bit. Open up the shadows just a little bit again. Uh, come down to clarity. I'll give clarity maybe 13. And uh, same with dehaze, around about 13. And this is just the same as what I do on all my editing, actually. So I'm, so I'm not reinventing the wheel at all here. I'm just doing exactly what I do on my normal editing, day-to-day -day basis. I, I love really punchy, strong black and white shots. So I come down to the tone curve. We've got a preset here and that's strong contrast and I just slip that into strong contrast absolutely love it just have a check of Amber's face looking good there I will come down to the black and white mixer and I'll just give it an auto just see what that does that has just brightened up a little bit okay and then the very last thing I'm going to do and there is no real need to do this at all uh, on these particular images but I'll just come down to the post crop vignette and give it a little bit of a vignette just to darken up the edges and that is image number one done dusted absolutely loving that shot okay so the second image i've chosen the front of the old hospital and um, this is just before i dropped the kids off and what attracted me straight away i, I just love this big tree here uh, the foreground grasses i knew they were going to stand out all nice and bright the uh, the building itself the the remnants of the building itself they look quite graphic and this sky i mean seriously just look at that sky with the wispy clouds knocking about i just knew this was going to make a a pretty nice shot so again exactly the same thing as before just click an overall global adjustment black and white an overall adjustment <laughs> exposure wise i'm going to drop down the highlights i'm going to open up the shadows just a little bit go down to clarity 13 same with dehaze i'm going to come down and give it a real quick strong contrast look at that oh looking good looking good and i'm going to give it a black and white mix auto Everything I do is auto. There's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of structure behind what I do. I edit my photography for a newspaper, so everything has got to be done real quick. No time for faffing about. Get the photograph processed. Get onto the next job. I'm just going to drop down the overall exposure just a little bit, just to my eye, and again, job done. And I think that is pretty cool. Okay, and then the final image. I don't know why I'm showing you this because really, I'm going to do nothing at all different editing-wise than what you've already seen. This one. Okay, let's just reset it. That's that's the image as it stands. After I've edited it, I'll just go down to the, gonna go up and reset it to black and white. Global adjustments. That just opens up the shadows a little bit there. I'm gonna drop down the highlights to protect the highlights in the windows. Clarity will give it 13 at 12, 13. And dehaze 12, 13 as well. Down to tone curve, strong contrast. That's looking pretty good. Global adjustment on the black and white mix. Uh, we'll come down to a little post crop vignette. That's not looking quite as contrasted as I'd like, so I'm gonna come up to the contrast slider, crunch that in a little bit, and we'll come down to the blacks and crush the black a little bit. And likewise, we'll just raise the whites just a shade, just to make those pop. And that is that. So guys, you've now seen my three favorite shots from what turned out to be a very good shoot. And if I was pushed to pick an absolute winner of the day, oh, Man, so many good photographs from this shoot. If I had to pick one photograph that I really like, I honestly can't go past when I find it. Where is it? Where is it? I mean, I love that one. I do love that one. Oh, that's a, that's a contender, but not on this occasion. The one that I really love, the winner on the day, is this beautiful shot of my gorgeous granddaughter running down a hill. And uh, a few seconds after that, she did fall flat on her face. Uh, but she got up, brushed her knees off, and uh, looked and started laughing again as she always does. She's just an absolute star, and this photograph, oh, absolutely love it. Hope you took something from this little video, and until next time, get out there, get shooting, enjoy what you're doing.